We've talked about how every song is split into two parts, the master recording and the composition. As you begin to break down those two parts further, you learn more about the types of royalties that each earn, who collects and pays these royalties out, and who those royalties ultimately go to. For the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on the composition only and discuss the publishing royalties that are earned for the use of your composition. So for every composition that is created, there are two main types of royalties that can be earned, performance and mechanical royalties. Performance royalties are earned when your song is publicly performed or streamed. Mechanical royalties are earned when your song is physically or digitally reproduced or streamed. As we've identified the two halves of a song and then broken down the composition or publishing side of that song and the royalties you earn, the next important part to understand is the ownership shares associated with the royalties your song earns and how these are broken down into what are known as the writer's share and the publisher's share. The writer's share is the percentage of ownership of a given work that is owned by the creator themselves. In short, this means if you wrote the song, you own this writer's share. This share is typically collected and paid out directly by your home collection society. So for example, if you're with ASCAP, they would pay you the share directly. It's important to note that there is no writer's share earned from mechanical royalties, only a publisher's share. You as the creator will not be paid out directly for your share of mechanical royalties as you would for performance royalties. Instead, it would go through your publisher or via your personal publishing entity. The publisher's share is the percentage of ownership of a given work that is owned by the creator, or you, until you enter a publishing agreement. So for example, if you record a song and don't have publishing set up, you are the publisher of your work and are entitled to the publisher's share. Say you're presented with a traditional publishing deal and decide to enter into this agreement, you'll likely give that full or partial ownership to your publisher, depending on the agreement. Another example is if you sign up with us here at SongTrust. You maintain that publisher's share fully, and instead we take a commission, for us it's 15%, on any royalties we collect for you. The important thing here to understand is that until you sign it away, you own this share 100%, and we recommend that you closely examine any agreements that would require you to give up your publishing ownership. The publisher's share is a bit more complex than the writer's share when it comes to who collects and pays this out. It depends on your publishing situation. If we go with the first example of you being fully independent and not having any publishing, then the organizations responsible for collecting these royalties lie with your home collection society, such as Gemma in Germany or SASM in France. Should that society not also collect mechanical royalties, like ASCAP in the US or BUMA in the Netherlands, then a mechanical rights organization like STEMRA, who is strictly responsible for collecting mechanical royalties, or organizations that simply administer the mechanical license, like the Harry Fox Agency in the US, would be responsible for collecting and paying out the share to you. The catch here is that some of these organizations require you to have a publishing entity in order to collect your publisher's share, which is something an in independent creator may not be able to or may have to do additional work to collect. If we look at the second example, where you're now in a traditional publishing deal, your publisher would be paid the publisher's share directly from these societies or appropriate organizations. Again, the percentage of your publishing share that you keep will depend on the agreement and whether you've taken in advance from your publisher. In the final example, using a publishing administrator like SongTrust, we work directly with societies and organizations around the world to collect and pay you your publisher's share directly. You had received your percentage of the publisher's share minus our commission since we do not maintain any ownership of your song. Two reminders. First is that there's no writer's share for mechanical royalties, only the publisher's share, meaning it's important that you have some type of publishing situation to help you collect these royalties. Second, if you create a song with multiple writers, the breakdown percentage of ownership 
for each share will defer and are decided using split sheets once the song is finished. If you take anything away from this explanation, we hope that you better understand the breakdown of your ownership shares, including that you're always entitled to your writer's share and that your publisher's share is contingent on what publishing situation you find yourself in. Avoid losing out on royalties by making sure your songs are registered properly and that you have some publishing arrangement set up to collect your publisher's share, but be careful about signing away those rights. We have plenty of resources available in our help center, on our blog, or in our video resource center. And as always, if you have any questions, send us an email.